Hi there! This is the Puzzle Guy and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I have a brand new Hanayama puzzle. It is a cast rotor. It has two identical parts. One is golden color, another is silver color. The difficulty level of this puzzle is 6 out of 6 and the object is to take it apart and to assemble it again. This puzzle was created by Q1. This puzzle designer created a bunch of other great puzzles for Hanayama. Among them are Trinity Puzzle and U and U. Both of them I've solved on my channel. And actually, U and U Puzzle was my third video. And it is the most popular video on my channel since then. I don't know why, but people keep watching it. Uh, if you want to see how my videos changed since then, then go watch that video, you will be very surprised. So back to rotor puzzle. As I told you, the both parts are identical and uh, we will take a closer look at this puzzle without any spoilers, since the actual solution will be in the second part of this video. So if you take a closer look, you will find that each part uh, has three cutouts and one notch on each side. On the other side there is another notch, but this one is a little bit bigger. And one of the cutouts is a little bit different, since here you can see this cutout is just straight, but here this cutout has like a different shape. And if you take it, a close look at it, you will find that this cutout, this part of the cutout is a little bit smaller and it fits perfectly into this notch. And the second uh, part is a little bit bigger and it fits perfectly in this notch. So it's gonna be uh, essential to solve this puzzle, since uh, to solve it you have to remove uh, one piece, piece from another using this notch and cut out. Now, as you can see, it is impossible to do, and to be able to do it you have to flip uh, this rotor piece, uh, silver rotor piece, upside down, that's when you will be able to remove it. But to do it you have to make about 20 or 30 uh, moves uh, to solve it and each move makes it much more complicated since every time you move it you change the orientation of the piece and it makes very complicated to track what you are doing. It took me two hours yesterday to solve this puzzle, one hour it took me to take it apart and one more hour to assemble it again but I have no clue how I managed to do it. It took me three or maybe even four hours more to figure out uh, how I, I was able to solve this puzzle and to understand so that I can show you the final step-by-step -step solution. And uh, as you can see, uh, each part has this uh, small line and dot in the middle, that is the starting position and you have to uh, put this puzzle back in this, posi this position again. As you can see, the same uh, picture you can find on a box. So that is the starting position and when it's disassembled it's just two parts. I will show you uh, just a few moves uh, which you can do with this puzzle but again without any major spoilers. So first when you take this puzzle like this you will find that there is no way how to move it but if you take a closer look you will find that this cutout is wide enough to fit this uh, part since as you can see in this part the piece is a little bit thinner and you can move the cutout like this and move the whole piece to another side and as you can see we moved it from this part to this part. Uh, another move that you can do is to rotate it. For example now you can see the rotor sign right here but when I put it through this cutout and move it like this, the rotor sign is down there. Another uh, interesting move is right here, you can move this cutout through this notch, like this, and it helps you to solve the puzzle. There is one more very tricky move, uh, but I'm not gonna show it to you since it's gonna be like a huge spoiler, uh, but I think that you will be able to find it while solving this puzzle if you're gonna solve it by yourself. But if you're gonna watch my solution, you will see this tricky move in my video solution. 
This puzzle was released less than a month ago in Japan and there are not many stores where it is available right now, but I will put a link in the description if you want to buy it, but keep in mind that uh, there is no international version of this puzzle, so you will receive a box with uh, Japanese letters. But if you are watching this video like in uh, 2020, uh, probably there is already international box uh, available, so you can get it maybe in your local puzzle store as well. If you want to see step-by-step -step solution how to solve this puzzle, keep watching my video. And now I will show you my solution of this puzzle. As I told you, there are many solutions, but my solution works every time. So if you want to solve your puzzle and you do exactly as I do, you will end up with solved puzzle. And if you do at least one move wrong, you will end up with no solution. So let's take a closer look at these two parts again. So first, there are two marks in the middle. Uh, they mean that there is a starting position when, where you have to start solving the puzzle and where you have to uh, put the puzzle back together right in the same position. There is a rotor sign on each part and there is a Hanayama sign on each part on the back. I will be using silver part to solve the puzzle and the golden part will stay in my left hand, hand all the time. I will be just moving it a little bit to the right or to the left and the silver puzzle will be moving all possible directions. So the first move that I have to do is to move this cutout through this thin part, like this. And this cutout you have to move through here. So there was the first move. Next move, you have to rotate the silver part like this, through this cutout, down and here you have to move it all the way right in here and put it through cutout. So that was the second move. Next you have to uh, put this cutout of a silver piece uh, through this notch like this. Next rotate the silver piece in such a way that the Hanayama sign will appear right in here. And now I will show you the tricky move that I, well, I've told you about in the first part of the video. You have to move the silver piece with this cutout through this part. It seems like impossible to do, but the uh, parts are made in such a way that the, uh, this one is wide enough to go through this part. So next move, what do you have to do in here? And uh, keep in mind that you have to, you can move two parts, this part as well, but you need to move only one part on the, on the left. You don't have to move this part through the golden piece, only this one. So now you have to rotate the silver piece like this. The next uh, move you have to do is to put the silver piece through this cutout down and through this cutout up. And here what you can do is to move the silver piece through this notch again. And keep it moving around the golden piece until you will find that the notch uh, of a silver piece on the uh, other side is going to be right here. So you have to put the silver piece th through the cutout of the golden piece and now you will see that the two parts of a rotor will be uh, up here and one on the other side of the golden piece. Now you have to move the silver piece with the cutout around the golden piece like this and around this part like this. And as you can see, we, we are very close to the uh, solving this puzzle. Next, you have to do is to take this uh, silver piece through the uh, cutout in a golden piece and put this part of a silver uh, piece through the cutout in a golden piece with the rotor 
throttle sign down. And the next move, it's gonna be probably the last move. You have to move the silver piece through here and put it right in here. And now you can disassemble the puzzle. As you can see, solution is pretty complicated. It takes a lot of steps, but at the end you will be able to solve it if you did everything as I told you. So now we have to assemble it and I hope I can do it since one way for me it's easier to disassemble but it is much more difficult for me to assemble but but I have to do the same steps but it is difficult for me so let's do it again so first move the uh, cutout of a silver piece through the cutout of the golden piece and through the notch in a golden and silver piece now we have to move the silver piece around the golden piece like this next move we have to uh, put the silver piece through this cutout up and through this cutout in golden piece down like this so what is the next move gonna be the next move here is a tricky move Usually uh, I try to put uh, the, this silver piece through this notch, but it's, it is wrong. You have to rotate it counterclockwise and put it like this, so that the notch of a silver piece will be right here with the rotor sign. Now put this notch through the golden cutout, golden piece cutout. Next move. This is one a tricky again. Which way I have to move? This way or I can move another way? That is quite tricky. Okay, let's try to go this direction around the golden piece. Right here. And now we have to move the silver piece up. move it around the golden piece right now like this yeah sounds like right and now move it through this tricky part where the hanayama uh, cutout close to hanayama sign will go through this part uh, but keep in mind that this piece is trying to go through this hole as well so put it down here so the next move Rotate the silver piece this way so that the Hanayama sign will go uh, here below the golden piece. Now move the silver piece through the notch as I remember. No not through the notch, move it another direction like this through the notch move it around the golden piece like this now you have to put it like this so that the rotor sign will appear on this side move it around this part of the golden piece and put it back that's it oh probably I, i've solved it so let's check if it matches the picture on the box yeah it looks like exactly the same okay that was the difficult solution of a rotor puzzle as you can see it takes about five or six minutes to take it apart and to assemble it again and the solution is very tricky if you found this solution, now you can try to find other solutions. I believe there's going to be at least two or three more solutions. So this puzzle is going to be very interesting to play since you can find many different solutions, not only one as usual. If you like a rotor puzzle and my video was interesting and helpful, hit like, don't forget to subscribe and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time!